Yes, yes, I'm the big bad girl from the 232. Whipping with the sauce, you know how I do. Fine men, they with the waist. Let's go. I wanted to create a song that I felt celebrated my culture because there's this whole who has the best Ghana jollof, Nigerian jollof, <laughs> like who has the best African food. And so I find that they don't talk about my culture at all. And we have contributed a whole lot to the West African cooking and things of that nature. And cassava leaf is eaten like all around Africa plus overseas. So I just wanted to have something like, okay, that's our staple dish. You ask mm. any Sierra Leonean, we want cassava leaf. We love cassava leaf. It is what it is. And the beauty of this is that cassava leaf is, as you say, eaten all around the continent. It's not just Sierra Leone or Liberia, but all across, whether it's the DRC moving down south, I think in Mozambique, there are other countries that also eat cassava leaf. So is that for you something to celebrate almost as a Pan-African kind of anthem, if you like? Yes, it is. It most definitely is because, first of all, whenever African culture gets put on the international market, I get excited. And so um, I feel like being in the industry, that was always my aim, is to take the Sierra Leonean culture and just make it international. And so to celebrate something such as food that everybody gets along with, everybody loves food. And so it's <laughs> like, okay, make a song about it and, you know, how you're going to celebrate the people by talking about what cassava leaf makes you do, you know. That's why I said, baby, the cassava leaf will make you sweat because, the, you know, when you eat cassava leaf, you sweat. You know, it's truly a blessing. And I was just able to enjoy celebrating my food, our culture it, it, with the rest of the world. And anybody listening to Cassava Leaf and, and really listening to the lyrics, are you sure you're just singing about Cassava Leaf? Well, <laughs> some say they like Jello, some say they like Pum Pum. You're going to have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe we're also using the cassava leaf to talk about the 232 and girls from Sierra Leone or boys from Sierra Leone and what they prefer. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, cassava leaf is a woman empowerment song as well. I feel like when I was writing the record, I wanted to empower other women for them to feel motivated as well. And so though it's about cassava leaf, but who's cooking the cassava leaf, you know? And it's just like, even in other cultures, it's like, even in the, you say you're Yoruba, even in the Yoruba culture, you know, if somebody is, is making good, good egusi, you have to sing about <laughs> the person that's behind making the egusi, you understand? You know, because that person <laughs> took their time, they put the pomo there, they put the shaki there, they put everything you liked, you understand? They really took their time, they even pounded the fufu for you. So you want to hmm. be grateful and just, you know, you just share a little love to the person behind it. So that was just my little concept of cassava leaf. I was like, okay, I want to talk about the woman at the same time. So it's about the food, but, it, you know, also in the reference of the woman. Mm. Overall, just letting them know that, you know, yes, I'm the big bad girl from the 232, you know, because I want every <laughs> woman to feel like that. I want everybody to feel like, baby, the cassava leaf will make you sweat. Like, I'm so hot that, you know, you're going to sweat when you come around me. Cassava leaf will make you sweat. It gon' make you sweat. You see the taste of the leaf, it gon' make you beg. It gon' make you beg. Beg, he likes to eat it with his hands, no spoon. Told me I'm the baddest when I walked in the room. Five star quality, the waist go boom. Give me 50 feet when I'm not. Food like condo, it a cup, boom. It a mondo, it a enjoy the food like condo, it a cup.